Hey guys, how's it going? I'm on the James River in Virginia doing a little musky fishing. Now, I know these fish look big and bad, but they're actually one of the most fragile fish out there, and they're highly susceptible to high mortality rates if not handled correctly. So I've got a really nice low 40s musky here, and I'm gonna run you through the proper way to get a good photo of this fish and then safely release it. With my large Ranger Big Game net, this net has enough space for this fish to remain fully in the water at all times. So after removing the bait immediately, I let this fish remain in the water while I get my GoPro set up on my kayak. Fish should be out of the water as little as possible. So while the fish is remaining in the net, I've got the time to set my camera up quickly. I usually run it on video so I can pull a still or use voice control to have my GoPro take a photo or if I've got a buddy with me that gives him time to come over and, and snap a quick picture. So what you wanna do is avoid getting your fingers anywhere near, anywhere near the gill rakers of these fish. I like to grab it I like to have one hand on the tail, and especially with your larger fish, always support the belly when lifting this, these fish out of the water. So when you've got your camera set up and you're ready to get a photo, we're gonna quickly lift the fish up, smile big, and then it's time for a safe release. So when releasing these fish, you guys, it's really important to help the fish stay upright. Is there a way to get the screen back on? Yeah, hit uh, GoPro, stop recording. Gosh, this fish is very green, which is good. So I always grab the fish by the tail. You want to avoid moving the fish forward and backward. Their, gill, their gills are not designed to filter air that way. So you can see I'm going to hold her here until she's ready to go. Here she goes. Always want to make sure that fish swims off strong. If it, if it didn't kick off real strong, make sure to keep an eye around. Sometimes these fish will come back up and you need to go over and spend as much time necessary to try to revive these. A really good way to help preserve our fisheries, protect these fish so that future generations can keep catching them.